guys it's the real deal back with another ray channel video and today we are going to be pulling shards i've got 26 of these bad boys to get through um but just before we do that i want to do a small arena flex um so i was one away from being the top 1000 for live arena which is absolutely crazy as free to play like honestly the krakens that i'm kind of against it is just bonkers but uh yeah let's just have a look at some some of the teams that i'm kind of against you know a lot of Cfi, a lot of Rotos, um, Duchess, Candrophon, uh, Baron, Taras, Necred, uh, just champions that I'd love to have on my account. But we are still getting the win, boys. Um, I definitely want to be doing some more live arena content. I've got a few um, strategies and team comps and secret like uh, secret champions that I want to build and share with you guys. So I will be having that in up uh, upcoming videos for you guys. Also, I'm doing a shout out competition with an account takeover. To get involved, all you need to do is like, subscribe, and drop a comment below to enter the competition. Then I choose a winner at random. And what do you win? You get a shout out, so we have an overlook of your account. But also, I will do an account takeover for one of your teams. And that can be arena, clan boss, a dungeon, whatever you want to help you progress in the game. So without further ado, let's start pulling shards. And there's so many champions that I want. I could really do with like a full snooker. That'd really help my account. Um, this guy, Trash, um, a full snooker or like a Duchess would be like massive on my account. Another, the other bear, both Trash, don't invest. Smash or pass. Uh, Hordin, kind of good for like mid-level arena. But that's not what we're going to see. Another trash champion. We just want gold. That's what I need on my account. Some beautiful, beautiful gold. But yeah, but like false champions right now. Here we go. Oh, God. Okay, so this is my second Ghostborn. Um, he's a good champion. He's not like amazing. Just really good for PvE uh, content because his um, drop defense cannot be resisted. So he's really good for like speed runs. And if you've got like a Prince Kaimar, pairs up really well with him. Um, so you are guaranteed like 100% win rates with him on speed runs. Another bear. But yeah, but yeah, he's like, an, he's a good champion for PvE, but outside of that, not really. This is a new champion. Uh, I don't know if he's good or not. If he is, please let me know in the comments. You know, I'm a little bit out of date. I'm more old school, um, you know, especially with epics as well. This is another one as well. Not sure if she's any good. Just please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to update my knowledge. And here we go. Oh, my, Tila. Okay, so she's an ally protect champion. Um, she's not someone that I'm really after for. You can use her for clan boss. Um, and do some interesting stuff with her. There may be some uses that I could have for her. Maybe like uh, Fire Knight in hard mode. But... Yeah, I'll have to have a look. I'm not too pumped. Like, I'm definitely more about the arena than uh, PvE, to be honest. Uh, Gore Grab, pretty decent champion. Really good for early arena. Oh, King Garrog. Okay, so this is a dupe. I pulled him recently. He is absolute trash. Just not in worth investing in at all. Um... Sachi, pretty decent. Um, she's okay. I don't know really, really use her to be honest, but probably good for PvE content. Hexia, trash. Okay. Oh, this is a new guy. It's pretty, pretty funky looking. Um, yeah, I don't know about this guy as well. You know, let me know if he's good or not. Oh, Gaelic, one of the worst champions in the game. Badly in need of a buff. Come on. Ah, uh, this guy. There's another dwarf looks almost exactly the same as this one, but is a spirit affinity, and she is an amazing champion for Fire Knight. I wish it was her instead. Um, but yeah, so it's not looking good, boys. I am thinking I do. Oh, Uko. Yes, I wanted this guy so bad. So I've already got an Uko that I use for Hydra. And a second Uko, I am going to be leveling this guy up in no time at all. 
um for arena live arena this guy in stone skin is one of the best champions in the game right now um so he can strip so basically he will strip the enemy and then put out block debuffs which is really really strong um so for example say there's like a leores you're going to strip him of any buffs on and then you're going to block his unkillable buff that is like it's just so strong but not only has he got that he also can revive all allies with 10 40 percent hp and block damage so basically that's just going to stop the team from being able to do anything um so good and you basically can just pop off again and just wipe the enemy team that is a solid oh my god i think this must be my third third pixel um i think polarium have buffed her three times and she still is just awful um but yeah this is just popping off like what's that five leg five legendaries out of 25 shards or 26 even not bad at all uh Buranguri, like pretty good actually pretty decent really good faction wars um and you can probably use him in some other content as well uh, i know you can say skull crusher uh great champion for clan boss great great champion uh really solid pick one of the few champions that can actually counter attack so we've got two more shards one more lego come on i really need like candrophon harima or harimia even ah oh, the lag the lag caught me out there uh the fat man actually pretty decent ally protect champion uh really good for clan boss and all other content really really good champ so i have a st strategy so we've pulled quite a few de dupes today so i'm gonna do something crazy um and i think this is something maybe a lot of people should do is i'm not gonna um put them in the faction guardian i'm gonna actually unbind some champions and purchase Morley. So Morley is so OP. She is broken for Hydra. Um, she can basically provoke um, the head of cleansing, but also when she gets hit, and you know the heads, a lot of the heads are doing enemy damage. She will boost the turn meter of the whole team. Just it's insane. I think it's twenty five percent for bosses. So you know a twenty five turn meter boost for the whole team, and she can revive. I mean she is a great champion um definitely that's what i'm gonna be doing so i'm gonna do that right now i'll be back in a sec okay so i'm gonna slowly go through my list and see who we're gonna unbind and get rid of okay get rid of a seal that'd be cool um who else is on the hit list okay this guy from shadowkin and a pixel and king goro so that's one okay i don't want to take the draco out i'm definitely going to take that seal and demon lords is a strong faction so i don't want to take away from demon lords either so we're going to take away that seal last but not least i'm going to take away the, uh, the black knight so here we go guys we also pulled ourselves a Morley. I mean, even if I got a dupe Morley, I'd be happy with that. Um, but yeah, let's just have a quick look at her kit. So yeah, uh, revives. So it's a single, but yeah, 50% turn meter and block damage is nice. Um, but yeah, here, fills the turn meter of all allies by 25% when this champion is hit. Just ridiculous. And then, yeah, she's got that provoke which is on a three turn cooldown on her A2. Just such a great champion. Um, so let's do the shout out competition. And this week's winner is Schnooky. Um, so he's like a casual player. Um, this account isn't as strong as some that I've shown in the past, but he still has some really nice champions on here. So we've got uh, Longbeard, we've got Tormund, uh, Dragonborn, uh, Ronda as well, and Trunda, uh, and Solus, great defense nuka. And Septinus, who used to like dominate uh, level 20 dungeons back in the day. But yeah, so he wants me to help him with clan boss. Um, so if you have a look for his account, see if there's anything you think that you would build um, with his account. Um, but this is what he's currently running. So he's doing uh, clan boss brutal and he's doing 13 mil damage. I reckon that I can get this to ultra nightmare. No problem. And I don't think we can one it because he hasn't got 
the gear on his account, but we can definitely get to two key. Um, so we're going to build a very similar team to what I've got. So my team is Draco, Painkeeper, Seeker, and Double Man Eater. Um, so obviously I can one key Ultra Nightmare, um, but he doesn't have Seeker, which is a major issue. So if we had Seeker, we could definitely do two key. Um, so what we're going to have to do is without Seeker, we're going to have to do slow Double Man Eater. Um, for that, we're going to have two Man Eaters, Kreela, Razin, and Ronda. So Tree, uh, Kreela is bringing in ally protection, which is, uh, sorry, ally attack, which is like really going to help us out. But then we've got Razin, who's going to do drop defense and weaken, and he just smacks as well, which is great. And then we've got Ronda, who's just going to absolutely slam as well. If possible, put one, one of the champions in the toxic set as well, or two, maybe. But yeah, so really looking forward to that. I will show that in a later video, so you guys know how we managed to get on with Schnooki's account. Thank you so much for watching guys. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe because it helps my channel grow and it motivates me to make more content for you guys. But yeah, thank you so much. I really enjoyed this one and uh, I'll see you guys in a video soon. Peace.